Hey, what's up? It's Alex. Uh, this is lesson two for Peace of Mind. Uh, this is the solo, and I'm going to let you get in kind of close here so you can see what I'm doing with my fingers a little bit more clearly for the solo, which is a little bit harder to get without being able to see it. So, anyway, first part is this. <laughs> So basically what we're going to do is we're going to slide our ring finger from the 2nd to the 4th on the low E, pick out 2 to 4 on the A, pick out 2 on the D. When we pick out the 4 on the D, we're going to slide it up to the 6. So all together. Next, 4 on the G. Then we're going to do 4, 6, 4, uh, hammer on, pull off on the G. Then six again on the D. So all together so far. We're gonna bend the seventh of the G. Then we're going to hit seven six on the G. Again, a four six four hammer on pull off. Then we're gonna hit the seventh this time on the D. Sixth on the D. 7th on the A, 5th on the E, 4th on the E. One more time all together. Sorry about that little mistake there. Uh, hopefully you get it. Anyway, next part uh, that's going to happen uh, while he's finishing that one up here, is he's going to go ahead and play this, or the other guitar plays this. What that is, is the 11th fret on your G string, then you're going to hit B string, 9, hammer on to 10, pull off back to 9, and then you're going to hit that 11th fret on the G string one more time. So all together, that part is, next, 9th fret on the G, then I'm going to hit the 12th on the G string and bend it up. When I let it come back down, I'm going to pluck the 12 again, pluck the 11. Again, this is still on the G, so. Then I'm going to hit 9, hammer onto 11, pull off to 9. Hit the 12 on the D, 11th on the D. Same thing, hammer on uh, from 9 to 11 and then pull off back. Hit the 11 on the A. And then you're going to hit the D and the G strings at the same time, both on the 9th fret. All together. Next. You're going to hit, uh, you're going to use your uh, first finger to uh, fret the 17th fret on the B string, middle finger on the 18th fret of the G string, and you're going to play 18, 17 uh, uh, back and forth. Then I'm going to take this uh, ring finger and bend that 20th fret up. When I let it come back down, I'm going to hit 20, 19, this is on the B string. 17, hammer on 19, pull off 17 on the B. Then I'm going to use my middle finger to hit the 18th on the G. So all together so far. I'm going to go back up to the uh, 17th on the B. Then I'm going to bend this time the 19th on the B. Then I, while it's bent up like that, I'm going to use my pinky here to hit the, uh, to fret the 19th on the high E. And I, while it's bent up, I'm going to hit that 19. So it sounds like this. Bend it back down. Uh, pluck it once more while it's still bent, and then let it come back down. So all together. Uh, that's one of the most difficult ones, especially for me because my fingers get really cramped. 
Uh, anyway, next one uh, is going to start with this chromatic walk down. Walk up, I should say. On your D string from the fourth to the seventh. So four, five, six, seven. G string, four, hammer on, six, pull off, four. Six on the uh, D string. Four on the G. Six on the G. Then you're going to bend it up and you're going to do the same trick with your pinky. While it's bent up, you're going to bend the six on the G string. Uh, and your pinky is going to be fretting the seventh fret of the high E string. So while it's bent up there, you're going to hit that with your pinky. Then pluck it one more time on the G string while it's up there and let it come back down. So it's going to sound like this. Uh, yeah, and you're going to end it with that fourth fret on the G. So all together, this should sound like this. Next. Uh, I'm sorry. There we go. I'm sorry. It's hard to do it without actually just playing through it. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit your uh, D string on the 18th fret. Then you're going to go from 16 to 18 on your uh, G string. You're going to go from 16 to 19 on your B string. Now you have two choices for this last note. You can either just play the 19th on the high E, or you can bend that uh, 18th fret on the high E. All together, it should sound like this. Uh, anyway, next part. So that's going to be 899 on the G, on the B. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll play it like this. Once more on the uh, G on the 9th fret. 7th on the B, 9th on the B, 10th on the B. So, sorry, it's kind of confusing. Back to the 7th, 9th. Then you're going to do this hammer on pull off thing that we've been doing the whole time. 7, 9, 7. Then we're going to hit the 8 with our uh, middle finger on the uh, G string. So, all together. Going to hit the uh, 7th again. Or, I'm sorry, not the 7th. You're going to hit the 9th on your G. Then you're going to take your fingers and bend the B string of the 12th fret up. Once you bring it back down, uh, pluck the 12th, hammer on pull off from the uh, 10th to the 12th and back, 13th, uh, and that's on the B string, like I said, so on the 12th it's uh, all, that's all on the B string, 13th fret on the uh, G string, 11th fret on the G string, then back to the 9th fret on the B string. So all together, that part should sound like this. That's going to repeat. Same up to there, but then it's going to go back to the 13th. Hammer on pull off from 11 to 13. Then on the D string, you're going to hit your 14th fret, then your 11th fret. So all together, that should sound like... There we go. Uh, then the last part... Uh, and again, with that last note, you have the option of bending it a fret uh, lower if you want. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to pluck your G string on the uh, 18th fret, 16, 17 on the B, then you're going to hit either your 21st fret on the high E, or you're going to bend your 19th uh, up, 
or uh, your 20th, I'm sorry, up to match that note. So anyway, uh, and after that, that's the end of the solo. It's just going to go back to the... Uh, so there you have it. That's the solo for Peace of Mind. Hope that was helpful. Uh, I'll probably post one more video uh, for this song because uh, it just kind of fades out. Uh, and I like songs that have a definitive ending to them, so when I play it, I have a definitive ending. Uh, and I'll show you what that is in the next lesson. See ya.